been under treated kwa sababu hawajulikani wame okay wame wame fajiwa vitu ama wamezungumzwa vibaya ama wameongereshwa vibaya kwa sababu hawajulikani ama pia anayeongea hajui yule anayeongea ni mtu aina gani hajui ni nani and many times and especially ile siku tulikuwa pale whoever was being alikuwa anaongelezwa na yeye wakili na kwanza yule anamnyenyekea anaogopa tai kusema if alijua haki yake angejijua vizuri na ajue i can raise my hands be said you no know, angefanya hivyo lakini hakufanya hivyo kwa sababu hajui hajui ndio sababu nakutaka nafikiri hizi vitu mmeona mmeona judge nikipokikani kama anajibishana na na lawyers kotini why do you think lawyer wanajina kwanga hivyo kwa sababu lawyer anaelewa sheria vizuri so anaweza kakusha hivyo the judge au kwangu lakini wewe ukienda pale sababu ujui ni makosa ama unanyenyekea hata ukiambiwa fanya hiki chini ya kiti utajaribu tu kuingia na ni possible iwezi iwezekana utaingia tu ya kiti jua uoga jua uoga so uh, if you know your rights and become bold enough allow me to say no one will treat you like a child of a lesser god hakuna mtu atakuchukulia wewe ni kama wewe wewe ni wa pili kwa inchi if you are confident enough you will be treated confidently but this was if you say But then how will you be bold if you know what you're supposed to know? Hallelujah. And I want to submit to us ni sema hivi ya kwamba hivi hivyo ndivyo tu ilivyo ama hivi ndivyo shetani kuwa anabeba ama anachukua anatumia watoto wa Mungu ambao ya yeah, hawajui wao ni kina nani ambao hawajui sehemu yao katika Mungu ambao hawajui wao ni kina nani they do not know and they don't understand themselves they are already but they don't know bwana Yesu asifiwe sana and it is high time we mature up to understand our position in the kingdom of god Bwana sifiwe sana. Now. <laughs> Hii wiki tumesikia network sana. Network, network, network. Mwenye mwenye msikilize kitu. Network, how much are you worth? Wewe tukikujikusanya wewe wote na mali yako, kasimu yako kenye umeshika, wewe ni wewe. Uko na pesa ngapi? Uko na mali ya kiwango gani? Si tumesikiza vitu sana hii wiki. Na zimetushtua sana na tumefurahi na tumeshangaa. Ni sawa. Now my net worth which I will not say how much is it. <laughs> my net worth kuna watu ambao wata inherit. Of course it is itaendelea kukua. All right? Niko na vijana ambao ile mali niko nayo na usinione kama ni kidogo niko nayo by the way Unaendelea kuni kama sina kitu <laughs> Niko nayo <laughs> physical na kwa imani haleluya So hiyo mali niko nayo kuna vijana wanakuwa ama niko nao na kuna work actually they own ni yao to some extent ni yao Lakini hao kale kashamba niko napo somewhere haleluya hakuna vile ambavyo kijana yangu saa hii na miaka yake ninaweza mpatia right 
Why? He is not mature enough. Yeye hajakoma. Lakini ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba ako na sehemu yake kwangu. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's the truth of the matter. And somehow hajui. Somehow hajui. Lakini mimi najua. So it is until when he will mature up hiyo ndi wakati nitakuwa nimempatia so it is his right juzi wamepewa homework so wakaambiwa uh, right two of your rights rights sio alikuwa anasoma subject gani kaambiwa right two of your rights i think moja akasema right to play <laughs> the right to play yani kucheza hiyo ni ni haki yake acheze akaandika pale so nilisoma nikasimaya of course right nyingine akasema right to shelter of course hiyo hiyo at least up was wow kini ya kucheza okay ni sawa <laughs> so he know their rights right even in school wanafunzo kuna right ambayo anafaa kufanya nini kupewa and do you know you as a child of god pia you have a right uko na haki shida ni usipoijua usipoijua i'm telling you utakaa utangangana na hii maisha watu wengine watabariki yangu wewe unabaki tu pale unashikwa kwani nilaaniwa na nani haujaraaniwa na mtu labda umejiraani ni kwa sababu au ujui It is very important to know. Ni vizuri. Usipojua it is expensive kama naweza sema hivyo. It is expensive if you don't know. But if you know, it is simple, it's easy. You will enjoy this life to the fullest. Pale sasa sifio sana. So I'm here to remind us children of God Number one is going to understand that we are dearly loved by God And that is why Jesus or rather God uh, gave his son Jesus Christ for you Na sisi ambao Mungu Yesu Mungu alipatiana mwanai Yesu Kristo kwa ajili yetu Tuko na sehemu ndani yake Hui Mungu Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 the Bible says that we are Christ workmanship created to do every good work Sisi ni wa tenda kazi pamoja na Kristo tumeumbwa kufanya kazi jema Hallelujah. You, I'm talking to believers today. We are Christ workmanship. Ya kwamba sisi ni watenda kazi pamoja na Kristo. Na tumetengenezwa kufanya kazi nzuri. So it's good to know that. Number one, I'm talking about five personal. Personal. Na the word personal ni kumaanisha he si yetu. Hii ni anani? ni yangu ni mimi nijue hivyo ndivyo ilivyo Number one, I want you to know this that you are completely accepted in Christ Say my name Can someone say I am completely accepted in Christ? Nimekubalika kabisa ndani ya Kristo. Nasema sema hivyo, nimekubali kama unaamini, all right? Kama unaamini, nimekubalika kabisa ndani ya Kristo. Nimekubalika kabisa ndani ya Kristo. Biblia nasema hivi Efeso 1 mstari wa 4 Even before the world was made hata kabla uli 
ulimwengu utengenezwe Mungu alikuwa ametuchagua kuwa wake kupitia ushirika na Kristo ndipo tuwe watakatifu watu wasio na mawa mbele zake haleluya that even before the world was created children of god before your mother and father met before kenya got independence 59 years ago how many gap 59 eh? Yes, so 60, whatever. Before that, the Bible says God had already chosen us. To be his. So mtu ambaye amekuchagua, amekuchagua uwe wake ni kumaanisha kwamba amefanya nini? Amekukubali. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ninajua leo tunaishi na kati ambazo watu wametengwa sana. Life has not been easy to so many. And I'm talking to wewe ambaye unanisikia siku ya leo na unamwamini katika Mungu. You may not be accepted by people, but let me give you a very positive and good report that Christ Jesus has accepted you. And that is the most important thing. Hiyo ndio maana zaidi ya vyote. Kukubalika na Yesu. Bwana Yesu sana. Na sijasema usitaki kukubalika na watu. Ah ah sijasema hivyo. Lakini wakati wanakukataa kwa sababu ya vile ulivyo, kwa sababu ya kwenye umetoka, kwa sababu una degree na ma diploma manini na nzuri hizo vitu, wakikukataa kwa sababu hauwezi ukatunga sentence nzuri moja, wala sifiwe sana. Wali kukataa kwa sababu ya ya masababu mingi Wewe njua hivi Kuna ye mmoja Ambaye mbili na sema ya kwamba Kabla ulimwegu umwe Alikuchua, alikuchagua Na haka kukubali Praise the name of the Lord Haka kukubali Watu wanaeza kosa kukubali Kwa sababu wa wakuelewi I'm just reminded of a guy to resume na yeye. I don't know why I'm na kumbuka hii. To resume na yeye high school. I'm just forgetting his name. But naona hata sura yake. Naona alikuwa na kaa pale kwa kona ya class. Na mimi nilikuwa tu jirani yake hapo. So this guy, even in the morning when every one of us tumetoka shule, nini, dormitory, na tumeshawa vizuri na kila mtu wako sawa, this guy alikuwa na kuja pale, Na jamaa na nuko Siu kunukia Haka nini? Kuna tofauti ya kunuka na kunukia Kunukia ni marashi Nzuri kitu nzuri no. Kunuka ni mbaya right? So jamaa ni kuwa na nuka So every time na muliza So I had nikuwa na fikilabu na brush Ama aoki So and So many people hawa, Na disamba likuwa na kako kona kule nyumu Watu wengi wako nataka na ye In fact, akipita tu mtu Hani, hakuwa na marafiki So, it took us time to understand Ni condition uja mako na ye Kuwaka likuwa na oka In fact, sa mwabasa tulikuwa tunakikisha Tuwona ya meoka kweli Na tunakikisha tuwona ya mebrash Lakini yata kifanya hivu, aishi We came to realize it was a condition Na likuwa na ye Sa mwabasa tulikuwa ya mungu tusamle Tukujua so everyone did Akua Nataka. He was rejected by almost everyone. But I thank God Akua Roju. Akua Nashuri Kananini. When you go back to the he was very bold, you know. So we, we actually rejected him completely. So people reject people for some reason. They don't know. Kunawatu wame ku reject the Rakini wa tu history yako. Wana see for your there are people who talk negative about you so much. Lakini hawajui story yako. Lakini wacha nikombie, hata kama wame kukata, as we have said, thank God that he accepted you the way you are. Zacchaeus, the story we were looking at last week. At 
hakuwa amekubalika na watu wao ni sababu watu walikuwa nasema Yesu honestly umeenda kwa nyumba ya mwenye dhambi people didn't want anything with him because he was a tax collector and they thought anawaidia pesa yake na ni kweli alikuwa amechukua pesa zao so wakamkata lakini tunaona Yesu wakati anatembea mji ule haleluya hakuenda kwa wale walifikiria wao ndio watakatifu na wazuri wenye wajaiba za watu alienda kwa huyu alikuwa mwizi na akaingia kwa nyumba yake na akakuwa mgeni wake Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Praise the name of Jesus So what we are saying is this church It is very much important for you to know that Jesus if you get your life to him and if you believe in him he has accepted you just as you are The blind Matthias was not accepted by many people in fact wakati Yesu alikuwa anafika pale anatembea people are like you know anajaribu kupasa sauti yake amuite Yesu and people are like wewe nyamaza you know hata hii sore nyamaza unasumbua mfalme and he is continue to shout and people are like no you cannot get to the master but jesus had that voice imagine in the middle of so many people alisikia sauti ya mmoja but myas in fact he was like huyo ananita nani naka akaangalia nyumba and then he was like let him come jesus accepted him but this was a fierce son the man with demons Remember wale mapepo ambao kuna jamaa alikuwa anaitwa region region because mapepo zilikuwa ndani yake alikuwa na mapepo wengi and so many people did actually alikuwa anafungwa akifungwa minyororo anavunja kwa sababu ya mapepo zilizokuwa ndani yake na nguvu mapepo zilizokuwa na, na zile nguvu ambazo mapepo alikuwa nazo people didn't want anything about him but when Jesus came You know what was in this man I don't know if people were like they know ama pana lakini they rejected him because of the demons inside of him they forgot that uh, 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 it is not about this man it is it was what was inside of him when Jesus came akatoa hizo mapepo na zikapotea this man was left all wana sifia san and he was embraced back to the community also the story of the woman who was i mean who was washing jesus with the expensive perfume watu walikuwa wanashindwa sasa huyu huyu yesu anakaa na mtenda dhambi you know a a a a a a a a a very no sinful woman how could jesus do this hata ile kaba yule jesus angefanya aje akae na huyu aje watu walimkataa kwa sababu ya kile alikuwa anafanya we atupata tupitishi wovu lakini vizuri kujua hata waovu ni watoto wa mungu na tukiwapenda na tufanye sehemu yetu mungu anawabadilisha wanakuwa sehemu yetu Wanaesu asifiwe sana. So every time I want to remind us this when people reject you when people call you names when people don't accept you when they don't accept your proposals when they don't accept your anything or whatever wewe well, jua hivi hata msipo nikubali nimekubalika na Yesu bana sifio sana nimekubalika na Yesu na kama kuna kitu ya kulinga nayo ni ya kwamba Yesu amenikubali Yesu amekukubali bana Yesu asifiwe sana number 2 number 2 it is good to know this that you are valuable wewe we ni wa maana. Haleluya. Umwaitwa kule na mtu. 
Bude sana. Si ya ide, si ya the former president. Wacha hii yake. Bude sana. Wacha hiyo. Kuna hile mtu wame kuita moja kwa moja hiyo useless. Bude sana. And it's a very painful statement to hear. And sometimes kuna watu wame hitu wabure. Na wakaona kabisa na kweli. Venye ni na hitu wakani kweli ni kama. Mtu wame kuita wabure na unaanza kuona kweli. Mimi sina. Nini ni konacho? After all, I'm nothing. I'm, I, I have nothing. Honestly, the book that was in order to put it. And when I'm going to be where the put it on our mini, let me say this. Don't allow Usikubali Kudunishwa. Wewe ni kiumbe chake mungu chadamani kubwa. Praise the name of Jesus. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be um, to be a people for his treasured possession. Out of all the peoples who are on the face of the earth. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bunga na wa Israel ya kuomba nyini ni watu watakatifu. Watu wake mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Watu wabawa mungu wamechagua. Na nini ni mali yake Treasure Treasure Kitu ambacho ni chadamana Pareza sifio sana Ninazama hizi vitu kwa sababu nataka As you're walking or wherever you are You confess that Na neongea kusu five personal confessions That every believer should have Praise the name of the Lord It's good to know that You are valuable God value this Israelites and he had to let them know of that. Ali wa penda, ali wa zamani kubwa. Na niposa ali wa ambia hivi. You are, actually ukiangalia, it is, kuno ino wala wako shule na wale tulipitia ni wakubushe. Ukiona nini, a statement imeandiko pale. Alafu naona kuna zile post, you know, open remarks and closing remarks. Nikumanisha umanani na semwa na mtu mwenyewe. Ni mtu fulani ya naongea maneno hai. So in your Bible, I believe that is how it is. So my message is that for you are a people holy to the Lord, you are God. Mungu wana wazukumzia wana wa Israeli hivi. Ana wambia hivi, the Lord your God has chosen. I mean, uh, of course, uh, uh, Moses haki wangelesha. Ana wambia kumba, uh, uh, the Lord your God has chosen you to be a, to, to be a people for his treasured, treasured position out of all the people who are on the face of the earth. So, maneno haya ni yabusa, haki wangelesha. Ana wambia hivi ndipo mungu ana waona. Wana isa sifio sana. So ni vizuri ya mbao Moses aliakikisha kwa mba hawa wana israeli labda wajui maneno ni vizuri wajue sahi ya kwa mba wameshimika ya kwa mba wawo ni watu wa maana. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse Four of Isaiah 43, Isaiah 43, verse 4. The Bible says, Because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you, I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Born as if you were a son. So these are the ones that God spoke to Jacob and Israel. Of his love for them. Mungu wakazugumza kuhusu upendo wa Israeli. Vile ambavyo aliwapenda. And he called them honorable. And honorable is someone who is valued. But it's as if you are sana. Hallelujah. And he said this, children of God. We are saying that we or you are completely valuable. Wewe ni wamana, you may not have, you know, ever thought of occupying the seats of power, especially in our nation, or even to become anywhere close to an MCA or a member of parliament or a governor or a women rep. But let me tell you, you are honorable. Amen. Wana sifia sana. Amen. Wewe ni mweshimiwa. And that is what the word of God calls you. Wana sifia sana. So, tukipatai na wani kuita mweshimi wa siyo madarau, siyo madarau, I mean it. Na ukinita ntafuraia. Praise the name of the Lord. 
are valuable. I'm Mweshimiwa na Eshimika. Rather to Peter Mahali, people will know that he's a man. And people will give him the honor he deserves. May God give you the honor that you deserve. In Jesus' name. Wacha kudhara udhari wa dhara uruwa hivu kwa sabi ya vile umevaa. Wacha kudhara udhara uruwa hivu kwa sabi ya kile una na kile uko nacho. Praise the name of the Lord. May God elevate you and right now start understanding that you are valuable in the eyes of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. This is because you are of great value on earth here. Do not underestimate yourself. Don't underestimate yourself. Do not. You see, get around. You see, you do not We will see you. Ah, come and get one. Maria, go. So we will see you. Pesa kido. The video what we use are going to kill one. We use are going to be bad. We see you. Don't underestimate yourself. A friend of mine told me of this man who was. I don't know if this is okay to say, but let me just say it. This uh, friend of his, Ambaya Aliena Mahali, na kalikwa, kaulizwa ungependa niku kulipe pesa ngapi. Kasema labda, hindi unataka. Ah, kasema tu ngapi. Kutaka ni kulipe pesa ngapi. Kasema libe rao. Dati na wasa? Kasema sawa. So wakaenda kafanya shuguli yambayo likuwa nafanya. Bada kumalizi ya shuguli, alie muhita pale kufanyi ya shuguli. Kamuambia, akambia a few people. Si kidogo kidogo hivi ndiyo tu, tuweze ku, you know, ku appreciate hivi ya mwako sabi ya kazi ya mefaga. Watu wakachanga, watu wakachanga, watu wakachanga, watu wakachanga. And he got pesa mingi. Actually more than a million. So, bade hiyo, wakarudi, sasa wakarudi marafiki wa hili. So, kulisema ngapi? Dati. Nakambiwa hindi ya pesa kutu mpata. Na, dati yako diyo hiyo, diyo hiyo, dati chukuna. Hindi ina wata tufani kazi kini na ayo. He was like, oh! Nataka mwe nuhu ngefila aje. Ngesema, he, I wish ni ngesema hile kukwa. Ni mwe enda interview maali. Kitamu kidogo. Wakanulizo yutaka tukulipe pesa ngapi. Kwa wambia, 25,000. 25,000. Ok, sawa. So, mini katoka. So, baada ya the panel kurudi waka ongea ongea. The following day nikaitwa, nikaambiwa kati ya kata na tunakulipa 25,000. Ah, nikajiuliza si ningesema 50. Hadi hata hakujakuwa na ile negotiation. You know. So nili underestimate. Nikaona hawa watu labda wana pesa. Kumbe walikuwa na pesa. Nikaona nini ni kama sija hiyo si si qualify kupata pesa mingi. Kumbe ningepata pesa mingi. Don't underestimate yourself. Bwana asifiwe sana. In fact, weka mbali ya juu. I have a brother and where he had a funny interview, Mahali. Kwa hizo nataka tukulipe pesa ngapi. E ya kajichocha. Haka wambie hibi. Mimi nataka kulipe elfu miya moja after deductions. Joku na hiya ya inatolea ngwa tolea ngwa. Hile napata yangu mi nataka elfu miya moja Nataka health, hospital, na pia airtime. Airtime na kupika kasi. Do you know that is what happened? Kati ya watu kuenda akaito the following day, hivu hivu divu walipewa. Kenya liti. Kenda hapa wasende 50, ama 20. That is what would have happened. Don't underestimate yourself. You are a valuable. Man, as if you are you are valuable in the presence of God. First Corinthians seven, nine, Kali Sana, twenty-three. You are bought with a price. We who cope ano tuivo, Hallelujah. We who cope ano tuivo, 
Unajua kitu cha kupewa sometimes you may not take care of it. But kitu ambacho umekimegaramikia au umekigaramikia you really want to take serious. So you need to take uh, good care of it. So the Bible says thoughts at a price do not become both servants of men. Usifungwe uh, na mwanadamu. So don't lose your price over anything. You belong to God. Wow, our time is really spent, but I will not interrupt Number three. Number three, confession. I am extremely, or you are extremely loved. When we umependwa, bana si fi vesana. Ni miyoke na watu. I've had people who have said, "Nobody loves me." Nobody cares about me. Na ufu mara mingi kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo wana tricks ama wakati mwingine uko na issues unapitia mazito. And let me say this. We are not angels. Mimi sio malaika ya kujua kile unapitia. Mimi ni mchungaji. Dugu yako dada yako hapo ni rafiki yako ama ni sister. I he is not a need to know what you going through. And sometimes what you're going through in a fika mali ufikirie watu hawakupendi. I don't think so. But regardless, in a fika mali pale, situations ambazo umepitia, watu wako busy katika shuguli zao, and you think they think nothing about you, hawakushugulikia ama wana shuguli na wewe. Regardless of that, let me remind you that there is someone who loves you really well and really good and that is God. So, hata watu wasipo kupenda, tanda yangu, dugi yangu, juo kuna ya nai kupenda zaidi. Na upendo wake, hauna masharti. Mungu wa liye mikuni. Upendo wake hauna masharti. In fact, God's love is unconditional. Hallelujah. So get to know this and understand that, that you are extremely loved by God. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. I appear to them from afar, people of Israel. I have always loved you. So... I continue to show you my constant love. Mungu akwambia wa Israeli kwamba ninawapenda na nitaendelea kuonyesha upendo wangu kwenu. And this is what God is doing even today. He continues to show his love to you. Bwana si fikira sana. Once again I will rebuke you. Once again you will take up your tambourines and dance joyfully. Number four. I am totally forgiven. You are totally forgiven. But the son. Isaiah 43, verse 25. I am the God who forgives your sins, and I do this because of who I am. I will not hold your sins against you. Hallelujah. Mungu anasema ya komba, mimi ni mungu ambaye ni mekusame makosa yako, na mimi ni mtie alie. Ni nafaji mungu kwa sahabu, mimi ndie. Let me say, God is not like a man. Juicy, ni meona. Ni meona ka clip. Jama, any, ana, 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 amenda kwa hoteli ya kakuta mwenzake. Wakanza ukumbu, ok, kuna video walifanya vitu kwa hapa, wakanza ukumbusha na mavitu za kitambo. Mada ambidambi za kitambo. Ulifanya hivi, nilifanya hivi, always ulifanya hivi, nikanyamaza. Why is it you can yamaza? Deserve it. Sidi kusame, sidi yamaza. Deserve it, sasa. Waka niza, oh, okay, kafika maali, mwaja, kasarena, kasarena, okay. Akaenda zaka. 
When men for do things, sometimes they remember. Sometimes they remember. Kuna kitu kana mshaka, kuna file kwa mawazo inafukukaga. Mtu anakumbuka kitu alifanya. Unasema ulisahau lakini eh kuna kafara kwa kwa mawazo. Ndika na wino, au kuandika na pensi. Pensi unaweza kufuta yote na yende, lakini wino bado iko pale. Kama ile ya kule, hapo nafikiri ndio inaisha sasa hivi. Ha? The Bible says, I will not hold your sins against you. Sita shikilia dhambi zako tena. Mungu akikusambe, amekusambia kwa story imeisha. Hallelujah. So stop living in your past. In the past. Hii ni maisha yako. Dhambi za kitambo. Yaani every time unakaa hivi, unakaa unaona ni maisha yako isongi mbele. Sijui si ninaomba na Mungu ajibu maombi. Unakumbuka kidhambi umefanya. Yet ujiona mbele zako Mungu akusamea. Unakaa hivi, unaona pesa zingi, ama unagonjeka kidogo tu hivi, unaanza kufikiria ama ni kwa sababu ya ile pesa nilipa. Ha? Ama ni kwa sababu ya vile nilitusi mtu fulani. Ama ni kwa sababu ya vile nilidisobey ni, uh, uh, mtu fulani. Ha? Kama uliona mbele zake Mungu na ukaomba msamaha, let me tell you, you are totally forgiven. Na Mungu sio kama mwanadamu anakaanga, he does not keep a record of wrongs. Akikisa ukifanya dhambi tena atakukumbusha, he does not do that. God does not do that. Praise the name of Jesus. So when God forgives, anakusamea na kama kuna kifungua alikuwa nayo, anarushana kwa oje. Anafungua na anatupa kuko mbali sana. Aweze zitafuta tena akuja kuhukumu tena. Hiyo ni kazi ya mwanadamu. Na akifanya hivyo wewe jua yeye ni mwanadamu, yeye sio Mungu. Alright? When man reminds you of the past, you know that he is man, he is not God. It's only God who will forgive you and forget completely. And that is why we are saying we are totally forgiven. Praise the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. For by the blood of Christ we are set free. That is our sin are forgiven. Hallelujah. By the blood of Christ we are set free. We are set free. That means our sins are forgiven. So let no one remind you of your past sins. Christ dealt with your sins once and for all. I want to say this, or I want you to confess that you are fully capable. You are fully capable. You can. I like the slogan of the former United States of America president. He said, yes, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. The Bible says, First Peter 2, verse 9. You are the chosen people or race. The king's priests, First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The holy nation, God's own people, chosen to proclaim the wonderful acts of God, who called you out of darkness into his own marvelous light. A life has, uh, uh, a life that he has, he's, he's, he's given you rather. Paul if you son. You are a royal priesthood. So you are able to do what, what man thinks you cannot do. By the grace of God you can. Is it a business idea that you already have but you don't know how? Let me say this. You are a kebab. Unaweza ukafanya kile ambacho unaaminia Mungu kuweza kufanya. Bwana sifiwe. We have what it takes for us to do great things. The Bible says in Daniel, those people who know their God will do what? The people who know their God will do? Exploits. So you are able, you are capable to do it. Hizo 
kwa sehemu ambazo unaonanga watu wakifika na unatamani kufika let me tell you wewe si kwamba uwezi ukafi unaweza amini you can kama kuna mahali ambapo unatarajia kufika kama kuna hoteli unatarajia kufika ama kuna mji unatarajia kufika ama nini you are able to you can because you belong to the priest to the high priest the bible says you are king priest and a holy nation bwana yesu asifiwe sana you are god's own people and i like this chosen to proclaim the wonderful acts of god umechaguliwa kutangaza matendo makuu ya Bwana. So when others, other people are proclaiming or big things, I want you to know this and I want you to understand this that you also can do those big things. Bwana asifiwe sana. Watu wanaoishi kwa majumba makubwa they are not any really different from you. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hizo majumba unaweza kaa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Watu wanaokula vinono sio kwamba wako special hapana. In fact you you are some more special than them. Because you belong to the king. You are holy nation. God's own watu wake Mungu. So as I finish I want us to remember these five things. Number one, I am completely I'm completely accepted in Christ. Number two, I am completely valuable. Number three, I'm extremely loved. Number four, I am totally forgiven. Number five, I am fully capable in a ways and i can do all things through christ who gives me strength praise the name of the lord so pepo is a good teacher jirani as a good teacher magonjo is a good teacher praise the name of the lord and let me tell you the power of confession it is really confess is a bit i i confess the word of God. I want you to close your eyes as we as we finish and I want you to confess those 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 statements ambazo tumesema pale. Just 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 thank God for that and confess them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in the name of Jesus we are so very grateful for your grace for your faithfulness. Thank you Lord that today you're teaching us to confess that we are accepted in you we are valuable yes i confess this i am loved by you i am forgiven i am capable to do great things and your word tells me that i can do all things through christ who gives me strength this is my prayer and i believe in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord you continue encouraging me through your word and as i open my mouth to confess and to speak it shall be in the mighty name of jesus christ son of the living god father i give you praise i give all the glory and honor for your good and your faithful in jesus name help us to confess positive many a times we speak negative of our lives and that is how things come to be but i am praying this day in the name of jesus christ